Hey guys, my name is Yiki Lo. I'm from Malaysia. It's a Southeast Asian country. Um, I came to Namibia in 2016 to pursue my studies. I completed my grade 12 at a German private school, the HPS, and I took a gap year afterwards just to figure out what I want to do. And my family advised me to take up journalism and media at NAST. I don't have much memory about my father and my mother together because from the age when I was conscious, my parents were separated, were divorced. So most of the time I spent time with my father during school weeks and during the weekends and school holidays is when I visit my mom. My personal opinion on having a relationship is, uh, you know, nowadays how life can be very challenging. You wanted to have someone to speak to, but you hardly get someone that you can trust to share your problems. So in order to, if you were to have a trust, trusted relationship. Oftentimes, although there are times where you can't really solve your problems by sharing it, you actually feel relieved knowing that this person will not share your agony with someone else or speak about your, your painful um, experience as to entertain people. So I think that's one of the reasons why relationship can be very important. And yes, in a relationship, I feel like it's a platform, if I'm allowed to say so, to actually improve and develop as an individual. Because I believe everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. So it is an opportunity to learn from someone. And as much as you spend more time with someone, you can see another side of yourself. How do you receive or encounter when this person does something that you don't like? You see, so it is a, we we'll say a training to build on interpersonal skills. And yes, I do. How long have you been in a we are celebrating our three years anniversary next month. Daddy? Are you busy? Uh, no. Oh. What are you doing? I'm not busy. Loading of stuff from the car. Oh, okay. What's up? I just called to tell you I miss you. Uh. Mm. Are you coming now? No. No, not yet. I'm hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. I know you're hungry. I can't wait for my lunch. Let's see. Mm. Okay, baby. Talk to you I was, now. I was planning on coming at two. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. You must, you must come see. at one. I'll see you now. Okay, baby. Bye. Okay, baby. Bye. You know, as, as much as he always tell me things about him, as much as I think that I know most things about him, I feel like the more he tells me, the more I feel there's more to know about him. We actually met at work. What actually contributed more, um, majorly in our relationship was COVID, actually. <laughs> because when we first started working together, was um, when COVID started and we were working at a hotel. 
he is in charge of delivering food to people that quarantine at the hotel. So I'm the one who organizes what food goes to which room. So as we um, finish our job, we sit down, we talk. And at first, he gave me that feeling of he's just a flirty boy. Because he's very good looking, according to many ladies. So for me, when he approached me, I, I thought he just wanted to play with me. But when I started talking to him, I realized he's actually quite serious about his future. And he's been trying to pursue me for almost half a year. And I wasn't just into relationship type, and, but his actions really touched me. So I just decided to Go ahead. Yeah. It is good looking. Let me look for a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking for one that it looks a bit decent. You know, he always likes to wear sunglasses. So that's him. I don't know if I should say this as a young adult that yes, you should go out and associate with people, make friends. But at times you need to know as you are building relationship or you are opening up, uh, I mean, creating a new relationship with someone, you should first always protect yourself. You should know who to share your worries with. Not everyone is really worried about you. Maybe they are using your your painful experience as a entertaining platform for people to seek attention from people that's why they share your problems with people that you don't really want to share with